long gone are the days where you just like don't take care of your bike. I mean in like 2016 maybe you had some leopard printed shorts and stuff, free ride. But being free ride is like, pff, that's not uh, what we're doing anymore. Now it's really up to us to be goddamn factory racers, everyone. Always having a fresh piece of kit, always having like a new cap on your head. Always having your field mechanic doing everything for you. Most of us don't really have that, but we can at least try to stay on trend, guys. My name is August, I'm a fashion designer from Sweden. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to be a f***ing factory when you clean your bike. <laughs> and we can do this with some basic tools. What you need? Brush. Some sort of cleaner thing. Some lube. Scrub mommy. And no, don't get the scrub daddy, that's for children. Some towel for your shame. And actually, the most important thing is this towel. Trust me, I will show you later. And another crucial part is this Partus 10.3 bike rack. If you have another brand or a lower version than this, you can just give up, you're never gonna do this. That was not very smart. <laughs> hey, just buffed it out. And you know, showing up to the bike park looking like this, it's not okay. And what you do next is that you find the nearest white car and some water. And the setting should not be this like a laser beam cutting through everything. You need to treat your bike like a lady or a sheep or something. Just soft, drizzly water. So at first it's just basically, you know, give it a soak. You're not trying to like scrub things away with the water beam. You're gonna do that later. Now just soak everything. Some places that you can, can actually use some more pressure. It's like your gears. And also like around the bottom bracket, but be careful about the pivots and stuff. But like inside the frame at some, some places, you can actually use that water pressure to just get out some of the dirt and uh, rocks and stuff. And some people actually seem to forget to wash your grips. I don't know why, but you should do that. Like carefully. And here's a few pointers. Under the saddle, you should wash that too. And on top, underneath the mudguard. And don't forget to actually go around your bike and do it from the other side. You know, many frames, they have like one spot where everything gets like piled up and dirty. On this bike, it's right there. Like these cables hug everything together in this area. No your spot on your frame. At this point, many people will say like, hell yeah, that's a clean bike. But no, that's wrong, that's so wrong. I mean, and they will just leave it like this and then when it dries, it just looks just as dirty again. So no, this is just the beginning. Now we're getting started. I know I actually don't think that you need like a degrees or something. Just use this stuff. It's perfect. You can just spray it everywhere. So after squirting that stuff over your bike, we need to give it a shower again, just to like keep it wet. Then we take the scrub mommy. The reason why we have the small sponge is that we can actually like get into all these nukes and crannies. So in here, for example, and this stuff is the reason like if you want to be factory, this is what you need to do. You can't just do this and then you're done. You need to get in there. It's about the details. Get into everything. Don't touch the chain right now. Just do the frame and all like the exterior things. Here's a spot most people don't even wash underneath. Because you don't see that. Trust me, God will see it. And he will hate what you have done to your bike if this is not clean. You spend enough time here, it will get a bit dry. So just a bit more water to keep the bubbles going. <coughs> While you're doing the wheel, you can take the sidewall of the tire as well. 
tires get dirty after like one second of riding, but when you show up to the bike park, it's really important that everything is crisp. Inside of the fork, this stuff separates the men from the boys. You need to get inside your frame. It can be a bit complicated, but you can just squeeze. In my mind it's enough to just do this with the muck off, you don't need a chain cleaner. Here I'm taking the cassette and the chain in one. You can use the master link to see like if you've done the whole chain or not. And don't forget your pulley wheels or jockey wheels. If you have some real dirt in here you can just use like a little nail or something to scrub it your hub. This is always dirty on everyone's bike. Start from the top. Be really careful, you need to remove it from the grips, otherwise it's gonna be really slick. You can see some bubbles there. Yet again, you may think this is a clean bike. No, this is where the fun part begins. And this is basically the whole point of this video. This is what you have been missing the past few years when you're trying to clean your bike. Ole! This is what you need to do. So in order to be a factory racer like I am and everyone else in 2022, you need to care about your bike like a baby. So this is a microfiber towel. Looks dirty and it is, but it works. So all the things that you thought that your brush took away and that the muck off took away, it didn't. This is actually how to clean your bike and to get it silky smooth and shiny. And with this one, get into all the corners. It's a towel, you can just drag it like this. Just take some time to do it. And I think when you do that, you'll actually start to enjoy cleaning your bike. Fighting against time here a bit, because as soon as this dries up, it becomes hard to use this towel. So you need to work quite fast. Don't touch this part of your brake with the towel. But the inside you can touch. If you want to clean the actual brake area, you can use a clean rag or some paper towels or something. It's a bit dirty still, even though we washed it and stuff. If you use your rag, it's gonna look proper. Yeah, so that was like a quick, quick, quick wash. Just a few minutes, but the, what this actually does is it gives you like a quick, nice vibe check for your bike. I mean, you have touched basically everything with the towel. So you can feel like is something leaking, is something loose, is something like dirtier than it should be. So this is what I do like after each and every ride that I do, I do this wash with the towel. And I mean, it looks like almost brand new. Um, you could do this like way more intricate. But for me, just like 10 minutes of this, definitely worth it to have a nice looking bike and keeping everything dialed basically, because that's, um, I really tell a difference. Before I started doing this, the bike would have so much issues and uh, now never. And if there's an issue, I will find it when I clean it. So, hey, that's a bumblebee. Huh? Don't kill me, you goddamn, that's right. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I think there's a few good tips on here. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching guys and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay, fail your test. Like I'm in the game of
<laughs> det där är bra nu jävla snackar med. Här har vi den. Nu har vi den.